Kati Nyoro, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Kiharo. I will give, I will give Dede Nyoro a minute, and I will give uh, Honorable Gashagwa a minute, but I will give Kangata three minutes, and I will take three minutes also. So, Honorable Dede Nyoro, please come here. This is the youngest member of parliament in our county. Just come and uh, maybe, because you know you are the youngest and I know we are mentoring you also. But he's wearing Kenneth Gido Matiba's shoe. Your Excellency, I can confirm that the shoe, the shoe although it's bigger or big, has not slipped out of Dede Nyoro's legs. The shoe is still on the legs of Dede Nyoro, not the legs, on the feet. Yeah? <laughs> His, His Excellency the Deputy President, Bishop John, Apostle, and other political leaders, fellow Christians, good morning. morning. God is good, all and all the time. You know, when Apostle said this is an altar, Mukiona Tunakuja Leo Tunanyekea Sana is because we want to maintain the decorum of the church altar not of the political arena. And therefore, I want to say that today I am a very, very happy man to have come for these prayer, uh, prayers. In fact, we can call it the National Breakfast or the Muranga County Prayer Breakfast. I, I only have one thing to add on what Apostle has told us this morning. When we were growing up, we lost our father when I was in Form 1 in high school. All of us were in school, I mean requiring school fees. I was in Form 1, my other sister was in Form 3, the other one was headed to the University of Nairobi, and the firstborn was going to a teacher's college, Iregi Teacher's College. My mother is a peace and farmer. My father was just a carpenter, actually here in Vika. He was living in a place called Kiadutu in Vika, Kiadutu slums. And when my dad left and we were disorate, there is something I saw in relation to what Apostle has told us this morning. There are people we expected, they'll come in and fill the gap for us. And we expected, of course, the immediate, those people around our family. God did something that I have never forgotten. There is a brother of my mother, he was in Sharks then, in the countryside, as a farmer. Then God opened an opportunity for him to go to Nairobi, established a hotel just around Crorad Exide in the industrial area. Then he became part and parcel of our family, paying school fees for us, bearing our mother when we were down. Then he's a very happy, I mean, a very humble man. And when God's assignment was done, when all of us were out of school, hotel yake ikafirisika, akarudi mashinani. And I saw this was a clear divine role that God was giving our uncle. Because as the apostle said this morning, God do not share glory with the people who will help you. Then afterwards they say, Isipokuwa ni mimi, hawa hawa shule. So your excellency, this morning, this was your message. And I really feel it in my heart. That what God has planned to do, he is planning to do it alone. Not with the people who will later on say, I helped God. Because God cannot be helped. He can only help us. Even our existence this morning is because we are instruments of God. Nahayo Mengi, thank you, Apostle. You are sent by God. And truly, you have spoken to our hearts and our spirit. Thank you, and may God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you'll keep on.